What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to be talking about leveling a necromancer. This is a how to level a necromancer guide. Uh, so, this will be carrying us through kind of the fastest way to build up your character, where you can then respec them in the later stages of the game or the end game to one of those other builds or those end game builds that you read somewhere else or got from one of my other guides that I've posted. So, Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the Necromancer and how we're going to do this. First, we will be starting with Teeth. Then we're going to be moving into Bone Spear and just a Bone Necro overall. This is going to be the fastest way through the game. Um, we will dabble a little bit in Summons and a little bit in Curses. But for the most part, we are going to be spending our time in the Poison and Bone Spells uh, set. So for skills, how are we doing this? Honestly, for your first levels, you're just going level 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, blah, 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 in teeth. Just getting massive amounts of teeth is very important because teeth is a little bit underwhelming in its damage. So you want to have a lot of points in teeth. And additionally, if you can, you should try and shop a wand that also has plus, you know, two to teeth, plus three to teeth, plus one to teeth, whatever it is that you can get. Uh, I don't see any right there, but, you know, when you're there, you can, if you want to reset the shop, go to the Cold Plains, come back. The shop is reset, and you can again look for more plus to teeth. There's a one to teeth right there, so okay, cool. We'll go ahead and do that. So getting some gold early to do that shopping can just be very helpful overall for your character. Hey, plus two to teeth. I don't have enough gold. See? There you go. But I don't really want to sell that. Let's sell this, and we still don't have enough gold somehow. How about now? Yay! All right. So we have two to teeth, so that's going to be just like very nice for the early game. Now, when you get to around level 13, 14, you can get a point into Clay Golem, a point into Amplify Damage, and a point into Iron Maiden. This is going to be very, uh, very helpful for your character because you can actually do essentially a little bit of cheesing when you get to bosses, which is as simple as, let's try and go find a boss that we can go to really quick. I guess we don't really have one. But as simple as this. You find a monster, or find the boss that you want to kill. You set the golem up, and then you cast Iron Maiden on the monsters, and they will kill themselves on your golem. So Endariel, Duriel, Mephisto, Bale, literally Diablo. Every single of the bot, every single one of the bosses will kill themselves by you just casting Iron Maiden on them, and then recasting your golem over and over again when they kill it. Uh, so you just want them to physically hit it, and you're good. Other than that, we're just bumping our teeth, right? Just doing that. Once I get to the end of Act 3, before I get to, like, the Travancol, I like to do my first respec, which is where I respec over here, and I start putting points into Bone Spear. You'll probably get to be about, like, level 20 to 23, 24. So you're just going to kind of put some points into Bone Spear right there. Once that's maxed, you can put the rest of the points... Um, and make sure you have the one point here and your one point there. And then you can put the rest of the points into Bone Wall until that's maxed, and then you can put points into Teeth. The reason that we're doing this is Bone Spear gets uh, all the damage from Bone Wall and Teeth, but Bone Armor also receives bonuses from Bone Wall and Bone Prison. And it's actually more beneficial to put a point into Bone Wall and Bone Prison than into Bone Armor. So once you do that, you can now start running around with your nifty bone armor as well for some nice physical damage absorb um, on top of having bone spear as your main skill that you're going to be using for attacking stuff. So this will give you a little more damage than just teeth right there and be able to carry you further through the game. Now, once we continue to go uh, and level up from there, we're just going to continue with bone spear, continue with bone spear as much as we can. When we get into nightmare... Um, is where I actually like to start introducing Bone Prison, and you can just get that single point there, or you can respec. Um, I like respecing once I kind of do the den and I'm in those mid 30s, because once you get around there, you can actually respec, get out of Clay Golem and your curses. Iron Maiden and the, the, the cheesing that you were doing before no longer works in Nightmare in Hell. It's just very, very weak. So we get away from these curses and we go purely into Poison and Bone. And we're just going to go like this. I like to get a good amount of points into Corpse Explosion. Maybe like seven or something. I mean, it's very strong. You could do even less or more. So maybe I want to do like five because I'm also going to get some plus skills elsewhere. I'm going to put as many as I can into Bone Spear. 
and then I'm gonna put the rest of the points that I can into bone prison right and this is gonna be super beneficial and helpful for you because now you're gonna have bone prison which is actually an amazing skill and you can use to bone prison everything <laughs> so if you ever feel like you're in danger you can literally just bone prison every monster everywhere around you and then you can just use your bone spears from afar kill them and then you can go in and corpse explode as well on all of their bodies it's that simple so whenever you feel like you're in danger just bone prison at all and you can bone prison everything and it's very very nice so from there you're going to continue every time you level up to keep putting points into bone spear and then at that point i like to uh, start maxing bone prison and then once i've maxed bone prison i'll start putting points into bone wall once again all of this is increasing the damage absorb that i get in my bone armor um, and so it makes it very nice if you do really want to get like a golem or something you can get like a point and clay golem but honestly i would say just not worth it um curse wise you could maybe as well go for decrepify or dim vision isn't bad dim vision can be very breaking it'll uh just kind of keep the monsters chilling around not doing anything confuse and attract so really you can go into these curses for a little bit more uh safety if you really desire but you have bone prison and the monsters are literally just gonna sit there and attack your bone prisons forever so i mean and obviously they'll be able to break them eventually but when they break it, you just cast another one. It's kind of the cheapness of it. Um, so you can just literally do this, and now everybody's just trapped. And that's just how it goes. I mean, it's that simple. It's really super great. Um, so that is the skill tree for this character. For the stats, we're going to be focusing on really just getting into vitality. Um, I don't really put a ton into energy. If I put any into energy, it's like maybe 10 points. But for the most part level one and on you're just going all vitality and you're doing strength to get up to 25 strength so that you can wear a belt so you can get the 12 slots from the belt from there you're not really going to do anything else until you're getting uh, up to about 34 strength when you get to act five so that you can put on an ancient's pledge which will be very nice ral ort tal right there gets you some good resistances so here's some basic gear that you might have at the start also, at this point, you'd be looking for plus to bone spear wands or just something with like FCR on it. Um, plus to bone spear would be preferred, right? So this is kind of in normal. You might have like Ancient's Pledge, Talath Stealth, which you'll get from normal Countess, Nadir or Rao Runes or whatever, which you can just get from the Countess as well. FCR or plus to teeth or plus to bone spear, depending where you're at. Maybe some blood fist, maybe some Hisaris boots, just plus to life, resistance, stats, kinds of gear that you'll get there. Um, and then your Ancient's Pledge. So this is pretty much kind of what you'll be carrying through normal. Rings, you'll just look for stuff with like, oh, resistances and stats on it. Or, oh, this has FCR and resistances. That's very nice, right? Then, once you get to Nightmares where you're going to upgrade your character a little bit, You'll be able to do stuff where you can get like a lore helm for the plus to skills and plus skills are very good for this character you might um change out you know oh here's a better belt right it's got some life on it and resistance that's a little bit nicer here's a little bit better ammy maybe 30 life 10 all res that could be really nice maybe i find another fcr ring so i can have two fcr pieces and make sure we don't break our stats um, but you know, my stats, my strength are going up to like 40, maybe 50, maybe 60, pretty much tops. Everything else is going into vitality and I'm really just going to be a life boy for pretty much all that I can. Now, in terms of the weapon that I want to find, I want to get this weapon right here for my character. I want to get a plus three, plus two or three bone spear wand that then also has white in it right so this right here you can see is it's just got the the base one this is just a two open socket bone wand that i just put io dull dull io excuse me into um and it's very nice plus three pnb skills two to bone mastery skeleton mastery bone armor with some vitality and mana which is great right so this is like best in slot one for the rest of the game for you here um 
until maybe like very end game. But you're going to be using this, but you can also put it into a base that already has three to bone spear on it, assuming that that base is gray. So you can go to act two of normal, and you can just try and chop Drognan, and actually it's better when the exit is up there. And literally, like, this is three to bone wall, right? This is two to bone wall. So I could buy one of these wands, pretend that's three to bone spear instead of wall. I could buy this wand, put Io Dol, Dol Io into it, excuse me, put Dol Io into it, and then you'll have a white wand that is going to be super strong um, and have a bunch of bone spear on it, right? That'd be plus eight to bone spear, plus you get the additional plus three to your corpse explosion, you get more bone armor, you get more in your bone prison. It's just super, super, super good. Um, so anyways, yeah, once you get to that point, you'll get yourself a white wand. You can start upgrading, you know, maybe, uh, I guess we already upgrade a lot of the gear. Maybe you find some better rings or gloves or amulets or whatever it is. And you'll just kind of continue to upgrade from there. Um, but your character is going to be very strong, going to be very safe. This is a good leveling guide. And you can really take your time to level with this character because the, the more levels that you have earlier on, the easier it's going to be to kill things later on. Your character also does magic damage with the Bone Spear, which is super beneficial because 99% of the monsters aren't immune to magic damage. So you're, you'll run into very few cases where you're actually going to be stuck pretty much um, and, and unable to clear things and in those cases a lot of times the corpse explosion from your corpse explosion can do enough if you kill some other mobs around it so very helpful um, last thing I'll say is you want to probably get yourself a teleport staff this is a staff with teleport charges you can get this from act 3 normal and beyond I like to shop in act 2 uh, nightmare that's a great place to shop it once again you just go in and out of Drognan and look for teleport with charges, not plus to teleport sorceress only. Once you have teleport charges, then it's like a little pseudo enigma enigma for your character. So if you do get caught in a tricky spot, you can just teleport, get your way around. So it just makes it a little bit easier and safer. But regardless, this is a very good leveling character. I would give this character a, an extremely high rating. This goes in my nine to 10 uh, rating as well. It might be a tiny bit slower than you're going to have with maybe like an assassin or something, but the safety element um, and the ease of not having to deal with a lot of immunities makes it very, very good. So overall, I hope that this, that this is helpful. I hope that you have a fun time leveling through and you get your character on and uh, good luck in D2 overall. Peace, YouTube.